Canon just announced their newest camera, the EOS C50, and it's already being called the Sony FX3 killer. But is it really? Let's go through the spec sheet. It's an RF mount coming in in a small form factor weighing only 665 grams, comes with a built-in cooling system. It has full-sized HDMI ports, a top handle with full-sized XLR outputs, has their brand new 7K CMOS sensor, can shoot 4K 120, 7K raw open gate, which records the whole sensor, C-Log 2 and 3 with 15 plus stops of dynamic range, anamorphic D-squeeze, takes CF Express and SD cards, and has a dual base ISO of 800 6,400, which is kind of disappointing because especially for someone like me who still works a normal day job and is kind of forced to do a lot of his shooting in blue hour or when it's dark, that 12,800 from Sony's FX3 does look pretty good. It shoots 36 megapixel stills, which trumps the FX3's 12 megapixels, but most people won't be able to tell the difference on that. It has three tally lights, 14 customizable buttons, and it's coming in at 3899 USD. So what do you think? Are we sticking with Canon or are we switching to Sony? Let me know down in the comments because